Hi, we are the band Y Oak. And you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Y Oak. Hello. Hi there. What's up? How are you both doing? We're doing great. How are you? I'm awesome. Just thanks for chatting today. It's our pleasure. Thanks for wanting to talk to us. It's my pleasure. <laughs> so I just want to kick things off by saying congrats on 10 years of Y Oak. Did those last 10 years sneak up on you? In a, in a word, yes. <laughs> uh, it's kind of overwhelming and insane to think that we've been making music. I mean, we've been making music together for actually more like 15 years. Yeah. Um, I met Andy when I was 15 and I'm 30 now, so it's pretty wild to think that that much time has passed, but trying to think about it too hard. We usually try and stay as forward, forward looking and forward thinking as possible. Okay. But here we are. Yeah. 10 years. It's crazy. <laughs> well, I just have one question about going back. When you think back to 15 years and when you first met each other, what were your first impressions? Kind of take us back to the very beginning. I remember actually very specifically, we, I was showing up for band practice. Um, and uh, I had been invited to join Andy's high school band, which was like a four-piece band. Um, and I showed up, and I remember my first impression of Andy was he was wearing a Weezer t-shirt. And I was like, Weezer, I got to check out that band. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I was 15. I didn't know anything. <laughs> that's awesome. Know. It was hilarious. So that's, that's my first memory of being like, OK, got to check out Weezer. Right. And for me, for me wearing a Weezer t-shirt was like, I'm repping this underground band. <laughs> 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 yep. High school. High Actually, school. yeah, barely high school for me at that point, but yeah. <laughs> we are now on this summer tour, so how is everything treating you tonight? You're about to play Lee's Palace here in Toronto. Things are great, man. We had a really easy time at the border, cruised right through, which is always nice. Um, had some tasty Korean food. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a great show. I, the stage sounds awesome. It's going to be it's gonna be a really nice night. Yeah, we love playing Toronto. Well, I saw that there was a potential love connection that oh, happened yeah. at the Chicago yeah. show. Some guy posted on Craigslist that he saw this beautiful woman at one of your shows and was yeah, trying to connection. Yeah, yeah. misconnection. Was trying to reconnect with them. What did what were your thoughts when you first saw that or came across that article? I mean, we've been waiting to get a Craigslist misconnection for a really long time now. <laughs> so it's kind of like something that we one of those milestones, yeah, you know, for the band. So we're very excited that we were. Uh, I mean, actually, we've been told that uh, I don't really get it personally, but we've been told that. Uh, people tend to uh, get their grind on Ooh. at our shows from time to time. Okay. So uh, we may we may have a particularly amorous fan base, but um, but yeah, you know, best of luck to that guy. I hope it works out. <laughs> well, it's an exciting time to be in the band because you actually released a surprise record called Tween for all of your viewers and your listeners. So why a surprise album this time around? Because when I saw that come out, I think everyone was shocked. Good, that's the idea. That's that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we really wanted to, uh, since this record is a little bit non-traditional, yeah. um, in that it is a collection of material spanning the last few years, but um, all sort of outtakes from records, um, things that didn't quite make sense thematically. I always like to use the description of, um, of uh, you know, a record is like writing a novel, and this was like more like a collection of short stories. And so because it is a sort of non-traditional release in that way, we wanted to release it in a non-traditional way. Touching on how it is non-traditional, when you were going through all of those outtakes, were any surprises? Like, oh, I remember this gem. Like, did anything stand out to you again? I think that's, for sure. That's why we did it, yeah. Yeah, to rediscover yeah. everything. Yeah, we, we started out for that record with the concept of it being a, a really limited, like, tour EP kind of thing, just a few songs. And when we started going back and, and checking through some of the stuff that had been abandoned during the process, we ended up finding a lot of stuff that we thought really deserved to, to be completed and, and shared. So it ended up expanding into more of a full length. The, the scope of it sort of expanded from what we expected it to. And I'm guessing you went with the title Tween just because it was in between certain records and everything. And we were talking about your teen years earlier mm, in the interview, okay. but what were you like? Oh, oh God, it's coming. What were you like in your tween years? About as intolerable as anyone, I can imagine. <laughs> um, uh, you know, just completely. I mean, I was like, I was a big nerd. I was really into like reading and music and I was learning to play guitar at the time. So I was, you know, teaching myself how to play like, Neil Young songs and Joni Mitchell songs and singing alone in my room and just being a little being a little dweeb, basically. <laughs> I was actually just 
you know, coming through um, like Michigan and then into into Canada today, we've been seeing all these hockey stores. Okay. And it reminded. I was just saying this morning. I was like, oh yeah, I used to play roller hockey. You did. Yeah, I did. That was like my tween <laughs> years was I was playing roller hockey. Seriously? I yeah. knew you bowled, but yeah. I didn't know you played roller yeah. hockey. Yeah. I'm not just trying to like cater to the Canadian crowd yeah. here either. I'm saying like even though you, Even though you kind of are. Did. It's a good two for Dude. one. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? I did. That yeah, before. like ro- oh, okay. rollerblades, you call them, or like inline skates. Yeah, rollerblading. The, yeah. Yeah. Roller, you were a rollerblader. It's still a thing here, right? Like, yeah. It's still it's a way to get around. Wow. <laughs> I did not know that. That's very interesting. I love when band members learn things about one another in our interviews. That's a fantastic moment. That is an interesting yeah. development. Are you it like is. reconsidering our partnership? <laughs> no, I didn't you know. know I didn't know you were a blader, dude. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were a blader. It's all, it's I've all got over. scars. I've got scars on my body <laughs> from, from some inline like <laughs> really? pipe accidents. Oh, cool. Rice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole new topic yeah. for those long van rides, right? That's cool, man. You're really yeah. cool. That's super cool. I, I mean, it's not about being cool. It's just... Clearly. It's, but cool. it's, about, being, <laughs> it's about being a tween, actually. I know. I'm, I'm it's teasing. the opposite of being I'm cool. I, sh- I would have been well served by playing more sports in my, in my tween years, uh, probably, but I did not. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very cool. Well, I just want to move on to a little quick fire round with the two of you. Hit me. All right. So the first one is, what is your favorite snack to have while on the road? Snack. Oh, God, so many snacks. Blue corn tortilla chips. Okay. Which, what apples. Apples. Yeah, apples. right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, uh, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's more, more like, like it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, who's apples. a band that you are loving at the moment? The new Deerhoof record is so good. Okay. I love them. I always love them. They're the best. Um, porches. Oh, nice. I like that Porches record. That Very came cool. Out. Uh, pool. Cool. Yeah, very good record. All right, and then the first concert you ever went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can say. Do you really want to know? I know. I, I really, I really want to know. Ninety-eight degrees. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I was young and I was into boy bands, and my mom took me to see Ninety-eight Degrees, and she got hit on by the local weatherman. Ooh. Yeah. So it was a good night for her. Very nice. Good night for moms. <laughs> my first show was Bush with. <laughs> Veruca Salt as the opener. Oh, very cool. But notably, we uh, about a week ago, we played in Kansas City, and we were in Kansas City on the same night as the summer... What was it called? We can't we can't talk shit anymore because we got in trouble. Remember when we got yelled at by Papa Roach? So we can't do that anymore. We can't oh, talk I'm not, shit. Oh, I'm not talking talk shit anymore. at all. I just wanted to share that we went to this concert that was Sugar Ray, Everclear, Lit, and Sponge, because we were in... Kansas City at the same time as that. It was like the summer fling or we something We did not like pay that. for this concert, just for the record. <laughs> it was, it was like... It's so yes. funny you say that, because Sugar Ray, one of those bands, when they come on, I can't skip them. I kept... I will admit that, like, it's yeah. one of those bands. I kept confusing them with Smash Mouth. Okay. Not entirely. I don't feel like I have a, a good grasp entirely on... But then, actually, apparently, I heard... I didn't hear because I was actually playing a show at the time, but apparently... Uh, Margaret Grath from Sugar Ray made made that same joke about people confusing them with Smash Smash oh, okay. on stage, which I thought was which is so you're not alone. Everyone, you know, I think I think everyone feels that way a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. It's cool to be. It's cool to not take yourself too seriously. So Absolutely. Props for that. And to wrap everything up today, is there anything you want to leave with all of the Wild fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Any parting words? We're better people than this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually. <laughs> Try not to judge us too harshly. We, we just we spent a lot of time in a van today, so we're actually smart and interesting. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yes. I just want to say thank you so much for chatting <laughs> with us. Course. I really do appreciate it. that. Was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, no, it's great. Thank you for getting us out of the out of the green room and out into the world. It I is my it. pleasure. And remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. Bye.